So let's do a few examples on how you can uh, write a vector in component form when you're given its magnitude and direction. So let's call this vector u. There is its direction angle and there is the magnitude. 15 is the magnitude. Okay, so uh, one way to do it is just to simply remember the formula we just came up with in the last video. In component form, the vector can be written just as the magnitude of the vector times cosine of the angle times the uh, comma, the magnitude of the angle times the sine of the direction angle. And this is easy enough. We have all the information. If we have a calculator on us, we can just write it, write it out and plug it in. So uh, this is 15 cosine of 100 degrees, comma, 15 sine of 100 degrees. So I'll put this in my calculator, 15 cosine 100, I get negative 2.6054. And a hundred sine of I'm sorry, fifteen sine of a hundred degrees is fourteen point seven seven two. So notice uh first of all, so in component form obviously we don't get nice numbers like we did in previous videos, but notice this sort of a, this makes sense, right? If you look at the quadrant that the the head of this vector is in, it's in the second quadrant. So it makes sense that the x coordinate is negative and the the y coordinate is positive. Um, let's do this, sec this next example here. Um, and again, I'm going to do this another way. Okay, I think this is the easiest way to do it, to do it. If you remember this formula right here, really, really easy, right, if you're given the, the magnitude and the direction angle. But if you're more visual, what you can do, and if you like looking at triangles. Another way to do it is just to make a right triangle. Let's call this vector v. And um, we want to find x and y. So v, vector v, the component form is x comma y. Let's just find what x and y are. Well, it's a right triangle and we can use some trig here, the cosine of 48 degrees is equal to x over 8, which means that x equals 8 times cosine of 48 degrees. And in our calculator, we get. Five point three five three. And similarly to get y, we note that the sine of forty eight degrees is equal to y over eight, which means that y is equal to eight sine of forty eight degrees. So we put that in the calculator. And we get 5.945. Now, I'm going to stop, and I want you to look very closely. This vector here is in quadrant 4. So its x component is positive, so 5.353 is appropriate. But its y coordinate should be negative, right? Because it's moving right and down. Now, 48 degrees, when we did the sine of 48 degrees, Right, the, the 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 calculator thought we wanted it to be in quadrant one because it didn't know. So you can either write type in sine of negative forty eight degrees because this technically in standard position is negative forty eight degrees, or you look at your picture and just notice that when we write our final answer, we need to put in that negative to assure that the component form agrees with the picture. So we really should write negative five point nine. Four, five, even though that's not what the calculator told us. So you want to be a little bit 
um, thoughtful about when you're doing that, if you're going to use the sort of the picture method. Okay.